Today, we're going to talk about trade paperbacks. Stay tuned. Welcome back to My Third Life. Today, we're going to talk about trade paperbacks. What is that? And why would you want one? So I've mentioned on other videos here and there about some other comic book series, Something is Killing the Children. Um, I think it started around 2020, but by the time I heard about it, it was already, I don't know, maybe 10 issues in or something like that. And the first few issues were already really expensive. I, I It had been optioned at the time, I believe, by Amazon, which, if I'm not mistaken, fell through, but now it's been optioned, but now it's been optioned by Netflix. So those first few issues are hard to find, and it's a series that I wanted to read and, and see what it was about. So I decided to buy a trade paperback. So what is a trade paperback? So a trade paperback is a collection of comic books, basically. So, for example, this is a trade paperback, Something is Killing the Children, Volume 1, which reprints comics 1 through 5, issues 1 through 5. And it's, you know, the same format, the same size, same size as a comic book. But this is only, well, so on um, the cover price is fourteen ninety nine. On the back, you probably can't see that, but on eBay, I think it was fourteen ninety five or something like that. But I actually got it on Amazon for, I want to say eleven ninety five. So great deal. So why again? Why would I want to get that instead of just getting the comic books? Well, price. So let's take a look on eBay and see what it would cost me to get the first five issues of Something is Killing the Children. Okay, so here we are. Something is Killing the Children, number one. We've got uh, one for 40 bucks, our best offer. These are graded. We want raw so we can read it. Here's number one with four bids for 20 bucks, 15 bucks. So what we can do is go down and look at completed, sold. Let's see what they sold for. So if we can find a number one. Well, here's the whole run. Somebody, one through 25, somebody was offering um, can we even find a number one here's somebody got one An eighth printing for five bucks plus shipping so that was a pretty good deal actually there's not very many, I'm not seeing very many number ones in the sold. So let's go back to, here's one, the fourth print for 70. So let's, yeah, let's go back. Like I said, here's a number one somebody's offering for 40 bucks. Here's a number one for 20 with four bids, 15 with four bids. Let's just say around 15 bucks for number one. Number two. This one's gone for four bucks with three bids. This one's this one's for 25 and it's only got 46 minutes left. But it's also a, a variant cover. So that's the other thing you got to think of. Can you even find one? Is it going to be a variant cover? Is it going to be a regular cover or reprint? I mean, reprints are fine. If you're just looking for something for reading. But so 
though, you know, prices are all over the place. This has got five days left, so I'm sure that's going to go up. So I guess we'll just call it, I mean, 15, 20 bucks for number two. Number three, there you go, $10 or best offer. So number three for 10 bucks. Number four, Get something that's killing children volumes one through four for sixty five. There you go. Fifteen dollars, fourteen ninety nine. Buy it now. So it looks like you know you can probably get one fifteen bucks or so a piece for the first five. So I mean we're talking. You know, 75 bucks or whatever. So, number one through five, reprint slaughter pack. Let's see what this is. Is this all five, one through five, reprint? Looks like it. That's not a bad deal. 25 bucks for all five reprints. Obviously, if you want, like, first, first prints, they're all going to cost you way, way more. But that's not too terrible. But so, it is possible to, to get, if you want to just buy each individual one, you're looking at probably... You know, 75, 80, 100 bucks. You can get this reprint pack for 25 bucks if you want the actual comics, it looks like. Or you can, you know, get this trade paper back for 15, well, 11, 11.99 or whatever it was on Amazon. So you're definitely going to save money. And this is just one example, obviously. If, you know, there may not be. A trade paperback available. That's the other thing you got to look at is what do they make trade paperbacks for? Like, which storyline? Does every storyline have a trade paperback? Probably not. So it's definitely a more affordable way of getting comics to read comics that you missed out on. Or you could do both. You could get copies of the comics that are more valuable, but then have the trade paperback as your reader if you want to actually read them, which, you know, most people do. Now, do trade paperbacks hold value the way the comics do? Usually not. There are some. Let's take a look at Key Collector. There are some trade paperbacks that are quite a bit more valuable than their original price. Got this Futurama. Uh, does it show the original price? It does not. Dungeons and Dragons, original price here. And then your low, mid, and high. This is from Key Collector. Star Wars. It just really depends on what it is. So there are some there are some trade paper packs that do go up in value, but again you're gonna have to uh, they're gonna for the most value they're gonna have to be in the best condition, which means you just leave it alone and not touch it, or you know if you're buying it to read it, it's probably not gonna be a high grade. You know you tell me. what you think down in the comments about trade paperbacks if it's a good idea I mean as an investment may, maybe not so much they're not terrible but they're not going to generally be I'm not going to generally appreciate in value the way comics do 
But if you want something to read or, or you want to catch up on something without the expense of the comics, yeah, absolutely, go for it. This is actually my first trade paperback, and I'm definitely glad I got it. It's an interesting story. I could definitely see it making an interesting series on Netflix if it comes out. But yeah, this is just a short introduction to trade paperbacks and what they are and why you might want to get one as part of my beginner series, Guide to Comics. If you've got any questions, leave them below. I'll try and answer them. I'm not a, certainly not an expert on trade paperbacks. It's new to me, but I'll definitely try to answer any questions you have. So let me know if you like this by giving me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Thank you.